Okay, this is take 92. Be natural, stay calm. Uh, we don't have all day. Just, uh, whenever you're ready. Hey. Hi. It's, um, myself, Chaos, here. As most of you guys know, yeah, this is gonna be another weird video. Most of you guys like those because I like making those, and making those are just what I like. Like the video. That's what a lot of YouTubers would say in the first, um, 20 seconds of the video. Anyway, here's what I have to say today, okay? Hi is one of them. And before I even start, uh, let me just point out the title. It's really, um, what's, what's the word? Problematic, okay? Um, that's a really good word to explain it because most of you guys probably were asking, aren't you already a part of TK? Here's the thing, okay? Um, yes, but I got kicked. I then later joined FaZe and then they kicked me in the first 30 seconds and then, yeah, I uh, kind of rejoined Team Caliber. Thanks, Kazdef. But in all seriousness, I'll be explaining the time I almost got run over by an elephant. Now, this was a really traumatic experience. Like, I can't even get over how bad it was. But after I got out of the hospital, I then started playing COD. COD helped me. Then later on, I then took a school trip to Guantanamo Bay, where I almost died by someone making a shank out of a toothbrush. But speaking of sharp things, um, Sharp TK, most of you guys probably already know him. He was the original founder of uh, Illuminati, and he wears glasses. I just feel like we need to uh, look Look and investigate what this title really means. This is where we get serious, okay? Here we go. I swear this kid's insane. A little thing before I actually get into the whole story of me joining uh, Teen Caliber. I need to mention what you guys have been wondering for the longest, okay? When will I be moving to the TK house? That will be soon. I will explain all of that at the end of the video, as well as the possible meetup that I will be doing before I even leave, okay? So stay tuned. Not like a cartoon, but like a tune on the radio where you turn it up. We're gonna turn stuff up. Like, not, not the music, turn that down. Okay. So, like I was saying, my whole field trip to Guantanamo Bay was quite exhilarating. At this time, almost two years ago, when Call of Duty Ghost was a thing, I wasn't able to play Call of Duty Ghost over there because, trust me, their internet sucked. So, when I tried to find new internet there, I came across this guru. He was more of a monk, if you may. He didn't really shave his head. I mean, you can't really be a monk if you don't shave your head. But, he had hair. He also had an ego. This monk, he would roast people, left and right, everyone who would enter the gates of Guantanamo Bay. We call them Kaz the Kid. Now you have to understand, this guy was much gangster, okay? But to all the women out there, he was like number one in their hearts. It was crazy. But besides him roasting people and whatnot, he kind of wanted to branch out to a different type of group, okay? So when we met, we had the idea to maybe collaborate and do different type of things together. As most of you guys know, I just like to run around and just look at the environment, okay? The environment's cool, especially trees. You know what has trees? GTA. You gotta understand, this guy had the hookup. He had internet, electricity, water. So we ended up spending hours just playing GTA 5 together. At this point, we became really good friends. I later introduced him to my other friends, such as Hamward, Lost on the Island like that one show, and And I'm Gone, who mysteriously vanished. Uh, we're still looking for him, honestly. But Kazdef was working on something different, something behind the scenes. Apparently, he was a part of this team called Team Caliber. Now, if you guys don't know what Team Caliber is, it is a professional Call of Duty esports team, and it once specialized in different divisions. You had yourself the Entertainment Division, as well as the Sniping Division, which I really do fond a lot, but they got rid of it. <sighs> Yeah, they, they, they got rid of it. They, they scrapped it. The whole spinning in circles thing. So after a while, Kazdaf has explained everything to us what Team Caliber was and how we can benefit as well as we can benefit them from joining the team. So that's what we did. He asked me and my friends Ham, Lost, and Gone to join Team Caliber and just rep it. And most of you guys are like, wait, aren't you guys already in the Goon Squad? True. Goon Squad is more of an entertainment type thing. You know, honestly, TK is as well. So if you think of it, there's just two sides of one giant thing you guys haven't seen seen yet, okay? It's kind of like an Oreo, where you have your chocolates on both sides, and then you have your white filling in the middle. I feel like I'm describing myself right now, but we all later joined the team, and since then, I've seen Team Caliber grow bigger than I would ever think it would have. At one point, we had big YouTubers a part of it as well, such as Chaos X Silencer, which was the original founder of TK, I believe, as well as Sniper Wolf and Trezzy TV. All those guys who are my friends you probably already know as your favorite YouTubers have been a part of this team one point or another. Even Jeb, I believe, was a part of TK at one point. And of course, they all moved on to much better things. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you all. But in all seriousness, it was a team slash organization 
organization where my friends have joined to make the best content we can possibly. For me, obviously you guys know I'm a YouTuber, but with Team Caliber, I've met so many different people such as the pro players, but most importantly, I've been introduced to different businesses, companies, sponsorships, e-girls, like, it's crazy, you know what I mean? And yes, I said e-girls, they flock to these pro teams for some reason. I should make a video just talking about these e-girls, who just kind of team hop from team to team to team. Ah, I feel naked without these glasses on, but let me know if you guys want to see a video like that. But all in all, I've helped Team Caliber in such a weird and awkward way, I just, I'm so glad I'm a part of it. And you know what, Team Caliber? I'm happy that I'm in you. Like, deep down in you. Like, balls deep. You, because you've also helped me as well. I think this guy needs some other type of help. But most importantly, I would like to thank you, Kazdef, for letting me join TK and inviting me to play GTA with you in Guantanamo Bay. It was just the best time of my life. You don't even understand. Yeah, so, thank you. Also, thank you, KSX Silencer, for, uh, I guess, thinking of the whole idea. You have harbored so many weirdos within this team, which is not a bad thing, okay? I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. But really, guys, hope you enjoyed this weird story of how I joined Team Caliber. I would love to know in the comment section below if you've ever even heard of Team Caliber or TK before I even made this video. Because honestly, I don't think I rep the team as much as I love the team, you know what I mean? So so you guys will definitely be seeing more of that because obviously I'll be moving into the TK house. Oh, and that, that reminds me, um, what you guys have really been waiting for is when will I be moving into the house? Because honestly, I get this question like every fucking day. Like, it's, it's crazy. So here it is, okay? I might make another video about it later in the week but the date is march 7th okay that is the day when i'll be officially moved into the tk house and yes for everyone who's watching you guys better be ready for those prank videos as well as those challenge videos that i do have in mind up here and i just really hope kazdef and all his little friends are ready for some chaos punny isn't it? Oh, and another thing is, um, because of TK, I've been able to meet you guys. I haven't been to an event yet, but an event is where I would most rather meet you all. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But I mentioned I'll be doing a meetup before I even leave the TK house. So, so two days before I actually get to the TK house, you guys will have a chance to meet me in person, myself and I. Oh, as well as two lovely ladies who are members of Team Caliber also. We have Sunny TK as well as Avi TK. If you guys are in Orlando area, we will be at the Orlando Eye, which is this giant Ferris wheel, like the tallest one in Orlando. You guys will have the chance to meet myself and the TK homies. So hopefully I see some of you guys there. Um, I'll be keeping you guys updated, of course, on Twitter. So if you guys don't follow me, oh my God, I have no idea what you're doing. Just, you need to follow, okay? So yeah, that about wraps it up. Hope you guys definitely enjoyed this little story about how I joined TK. And leave a like if you did, or leave a like if you even know what TK is because I'd appreciate to see how many likes or how many supporters of Team Caliber we actually have. Because guys, I'm not just a YouTuber, okay? I'm a pro gamer. So yeah, hopefully you guys definitely enjoyed. Thank you so much for listening. I'm the Chaos. Stay majestic always. And I'll catch you guys later. All right, that wraps it up. You're all good to go now. <sighs> okay, thank God that's over. Jesus, like, you don't even understand how hard that was. Take after take after take. When will the film be done? I, I would love to know. Um, we don't really have a <laughs> date. Really? Uh, yeah, no, no. I You've got to be shitting. No, no, listen, we can work something okay. out. Okay, no, 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 it's cool, whatever. No, just, no dude, listen. Just roll the outro, it's cooler than you. Fuck you. Hold up.